Seven different numbers are selected from the integers from 1 to 100, and each number is divided by 7. What is the sum of the remainders? So statement number 1 tells us that the range of the remainders equals 6. Well, if we know the range is 6, that does tell us that the maximum is 6, the maximum remainder when you divide by 7, and the minimum is 0, which is the minimum remainder. So it tells us one number is divisible by 7, has 0 remainder. The other, when divided by 7, has a remainder of 6. But it doesn't tell us about the other five numbers. The other five numbers could be anything. And because they can be anything, there'd be absolutely no way to determine exactly what the sum of the remainders is. So this statement by itself is, does not give us not enough information to answer the question. This is insufficient. Statement number two tells us that the seven numbers are consecutive integers. Well, wowza, now we have a lot of information. Whenever you find out that a set is a set of consecutive numbers, suddenly that really ups the amount of information you have. Well, now we're guaranteed if we have seven consecutive integers, we know for a fact that one of them will be divisible by seven. Let's just say for the sake of argument that c is divisible by 7, so that has a remainder of 0. Well, the number 1 bigger than it when divided by 7 will have a remainder of 1. The number 2 bigger than it will have a remainder of 2, and so forth. The number 2 less than it, a, will have a remainder of 5. The number 1 less than it will have a remainder of 6. So this is the set of the remainders. Now, we don't know what order, though, they're going to be in because we don't know which one will be divisible by 7. But we know that all seven of these numbers will appear in the set. And so here, it's very average. It's very easy to take the sum of these seven numbers. And so this statement, which is a very rich source of information, is sufficient to answer the question. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice B.